what's up guys, JB here and in this video we're going to be putting up this TV using this Mountain Dream TV wall bracket. <laughs> So a few tools that you might need for this little project is going to be a drill and driver. Um, you could just use a hand screw driver if you haven't got a, an impact driver like this. You're going to need either a spirit level or a laser level, a hammer, a tape measure, and it's probably a good idea to get yourself a stud finder if, like me, you're going to be putting it on this dry line wall. If you've got yourself a stud finder, then finding the uprights, the studs, in your dry lined wall should not be a problem. And if I just knock the wall here, you can hear that there is something around this area. And this is actually whereabouts I want to fit the bracket to the wall. So I'm going to show you the best way to fix it to the wall or locate in the stud if you don't have a stud finder. So if we open the box up, we'll have a quick look at what we've got inside. And to start with, you've got your installation instructions. There's a couple of sticky pads. We'll see what they're for a bit later. Um, a couple of strips there. I think Velcro strips. They're probably for tying up some cables. Again, we'll look at that later. We've got the bracket part that goes on the TV. So they'll be attached to the TV, which you can then hook onto the actual mount, and here's the mount itself. Now this particular one is a pull out and swivel, so it's quite important for this job that the TV could come out slightly and then rotate, so as you can see here that will come out and then we can turn it either way. You can also tilt it, which is fantastic. And if you haven't got yourself a level, hey, you get one in this pack. And then we've got lots of spacers and washers and bolts, which you probably need to attach the unit to your TV. And then we've got our wall fixing pack here. So we've got some screws and some heavy duty wall plugs and your Allen key. Well here you can see what the actual wall mount looks like and the model number. Now I know roughly where I want the wall mount to go and I want it to sit roughly about here so I've marked kind of the position in which I want it height wise and then I've just put two marks on the wall here because as I knock the wall you can hear the sounds very different. So I've put one mark here and the same this side. Right about here is where it changes. So I've put two marks here where it sounds solid. So you can hear within this section. So it sounds a lot more solid than that. Now what is really important when putting one of these units or brackets up on the wall is that you don't put it in an unsupported dry lined area of the wall because it you know your TV can end up being quite heavy and if you pull that quite far away from the wall you've got a lot of lever length and weight and you could end up pulling it out the wall and you don't want that happening so make sure that you are going to be securing it into a stud you've been told now to double check this, what I'll do is just drill a few small holes. I've got a very small drill bit in here, it's probably about a one and a half millimetre diameter piece. But what I want to do is just make sure that I know exactly where the stud starts. So there's definitely something there. So what I can do is mark that right about there. These two holes that I've drilled, there's the stud is definitely there. And there. OK, 
Okay, so quite far along there. So within this section, I've got a stud, so I know if I mark these two lines here as either side of the stud, as long as I get it fixed somewhere in here, I'm on it. Now I know roughly where the middle is, I'll put a line just here, and then I'll get my laser level, and then we can just put that to that centre line right there. Now if you haven't got a laser level, you can just use a standard level as well. So what I'm going to do here is just mark in two areas and then what I'll do is turn that off and just use this level as a straight edge to mark a line right there. So that is completely up right now and actually spot on with that level as well. I've got my straight line, I'm going to get the wall mount and just offer it up there for now and actually I've got it quite well balanced the way I've got it open because it can just rest on my arm here while I hold this in position. So what I can do, knowing that these, this line is completely upright, I get that line in the middle of those points there of the middle holes and then I can mark exactly where the screws need to go. I'm going to start by making just a very small hole in the middle of that mark that I made Sometimes going straight in with a big drill you can often wander and it doesn't quite go in the point that you wanted it. So a small drill to start with and the instructions do state that you use a 5mm drill bit for putting in the wall here before you put the wall fixings in. So this is a rather large bolt but with a 5mm drill bit in there first, that's going to hold that pretty tight. So we'll put the 5mm bit in here and just drill those out. Now we've got the holes in the wall, we'll put the bracket up and screw it in. So we've got these washers to put on the screws here and we've, so we've put those on each of the screws we'll put the, these wall fixings into the appropriate place and that really is going to hold that tight so let's just get that started Now these do have a hex head on them so you can stick a wrench on them. I probably wouldn't recommend using a hand screwdriver or a manual screwdriver because that's going to take you a while. So it would be a good idea to finish the tightening off with a wrench. Just means you can really get to feel how tight it is. Sometimes an impact drive is a little bit too much. You can't really tell how tight it is. I've got to say, this is not coming off the wall. I'm actually really happy how tight this is going. Before hanging TV, please conduct the wall plate installation integrity test first. 
could almost sit on that. I'm not going to, but that's absolutely solid. Next up, we're attaching the brackets to the TV. So, with this particular bracket, I want to get it into a position where the bottom of this doesn't sit down lower than the TV. And actually, the position, if I just take this TV bolt out, I can position that into that whole position there and that is pretty much flush on the bottom so that's going to be perfect. Now you do get a big selection of washers and spacers but I don't actually need any spacers to go on here. If the back of your TV was almost curved from here to here or from these two points then you would need to pack it out with a spacer but the position of these holes that I'm using it's just completely flat so I can just put the the bolt straight in without packing it out. If we take a look at the bolt I took out of the TV you've got identical ones right here and the next size up there just a little bit too long so you do get a nice selection here but I'm going to give it a go with these original bolts because this is sitting very flush to the TV so it shouldn't really need anything longer than what the TV supplies you with. But if you are using spacers then obviously you've got more bolts to choose from. And make sure you get it on the right way so the hooks are that way so you can obviously drop it onto the bracket. You will need a Phillips screwdriver for this. Now do make sure there's plenty of thread on your bolt going into the TV. If you're using a spacer on these brackets then you, you, know, you really do need to make sure that you've got plenty of thread going into the TV. If you're putting it in and it's only just grabbing the thread as it tightens then you probably need something longer. can definitely feel with these that there's plenty there before it tightens. There we go. We don't want to over tighten these but we do certainly want to make sure they are tight and really secure on the TV. So I'm pretty happy with those. So this is where we'll hook the TV onto the wall bracket and these two bolts here we will screw those up to fix it securely once we've hung this onto the wall bracket. The bolts you can see here on the side of the bracket are to enable you to actually tilt the TV. Now for this installation we want to keep the TV completely flat and upright so I'm not going to adjust these at all but you can see with this little section here you've got the ability to let that come forward. What I do need to do before I hang the TV onto this is make sure that the actual unit is level. Now I'm going to use the level that they provide and just place it on top here. So you can see that it's not quite level. So if we pull this out and turn it round, on the back here you've got your bolts that will enable you to adjust the position so we can get it level. So we'll just undo those a little bit using the Allen key provided. Now what I'm going to do is just undo three of them because in theory if three are loose I should just be able to swivel it slightly. Yeah, so there is some movement there now. And actually that's quite a good tip. If you keep one of them tight and loosen three of them, it will move and actually stay in the position that you want it. So you can get it level, then tighten it up without it dropping or having to try and hold it in the same position. So if I put my level on there, 
and if I just tilt it down that way slightly now I need to pull that down to there to keep that level so I'm going to tighten up the one that's diagonally opposite the one that I've kept tight and now that's spot on perfect so we'll just do the rest of these up now and we'll just double check that to make sure it's still good yep perfect right then let's hang the TV right you're gonna need two people to lift the TV onto this so I'm gonna call in some help As you can see it's still got the feet on the TV which I'll take off in a moment. Before I do that I just want to centralise the TV and then tighten the fixing bolts which hold the TV on the bracket. And there we go, look at that. So we can have the TV all the way flat to the wall, which actually looks really smart there. Or we can pull it out slightly, because this lounge is very long, we can pull it out slightly and turn it so everybody can see the TV. As I push the TV back against the wall, you can hear where the bracket here, or the arm, hits the bolt in the wall. So with these little pads provided, you do get three of these. What I'm going to do is just stick one right on here, on the end of the arm. So when that does get pushed back, oh, that's better. There we go, much better. Nice. I'm just going to put the level on the TV just to check it for the last time and that is spot on. So TV nice and square, completely level and that is all ready to uh, plug in and view. And if you want to tidy up your cables you get three of these uh, Velcro cable ties which I think are really handy because you can use these over and over again unlike the plastic ones which you use once and then you have to cut it and then they're no good so these are great you can just keep using them. Well a big thank you to Mountain Dream for gifting me this wall mount and reviewing it. If you want to get your hands on this particular TV wall mount I will leave details in the description box below and I'll also leave a link to the Mountain Dream website where you can view all of their products. Well I do hope you found this video useful and if you've got any questions or comments please leave those in the comments box below. Remember to subscribe, hit that bell icon so you get notified when I release new content. Fantastic guys, see you on the next video.